Well, hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Cindy Daycheck with Queen Bee Creations and we are going to be doing a project today that I've been dying to do for a while. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen like the wooden dough bowls that uh, people have been turning into candles. So whether they're big long ones and it's got five wicks or little ones, but they are crazy expensive. And I have to admit, I've even looked into getting them wholesale and bringing them into the shop and they are still really expensive. So, you know, I'd have to be selling a candle for like $50, $60, which may work in some really high end shops, but that's not going to fly in my store. So what I decided to do instead was to thrift some items that I thought would be cool candles and to make our own. So I did go for a couple of little wood bowls. So I have this, this lovely little kind of egg shaped bowl. It's a little shiny right now because I just hemp oiled it because it was a little grungy. Um, not sure if I should have done it on the inside. So <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how well my candle sticks. Um, you know, I just invite you guys along to experiment along with me. And uh, as I learn, you learn. So I have this little wood bowl um, and that'll be a one wick. I have this wood bowl, which happens to be a crate and barrel from the thrift store. And I may try doing two wicks. You know, let's get adventuresome. And then I thought, okay, I've seen people do little teacup candles. So I happen to have this cute little teacup um, set, which is not expensive. It's Teleflora, right? So um, thank you, Beth. You sent me flowers for my birthday. And this was the little cup that it came in because she knows that I love tea. So I'm going to turn that into a cute little candle. And then, because I love tarnished silver, I have this little sugar bowl and creamer that, again, I thrifted $1.99 each. So um, this one will happen to have its own little snuffer lid. But I thought those would be cute little candles. So really, you can take any kind of container of your choice. And here, you know, if you've broken every cup in your set, but one, turn it into a candle. Um, so I remember when I was a kid, we used to do candles. We used paraffin and we would like up at the cottage. And I did this with my own son when he was really little, my youngest. Um, we dug holes into the beach and pressed shells and pretty stones and, you know, personal little toys or whatever we wanted into the sides of the sand. And then we stuck a wick down in the center and we poured our hot paraffin wax into it, laid a popsicle stick across the top or just a stick from the yard to support the wick and then left it for the day. And, uh, you know, we tended to dust it the top with sand again. And then at the end of the day, when it had all cooled and the sun had gone down, we would dig up our candle. So we call them sand castles because the outside sand ca candles, they look kind of like sand castles because the outside is still all sandy. A lot of stick, the sand sticks and then you have the shells, stones, whatever you've embedded in sticking out on the outside. So those are pretty cool. Obviously, um, uh, doing it younger, you know, when I did it with my young son, um, I did the paraffin, but paraffin is also highly flammable. And for today, what I decided to do, I'm in the shop, so I don't have a stove top. You can melt your wax very carefully on the stove top. Um, I don't know how flammable soy is, which is what I'm using here today. You could use beeswax or you could use paraffin. I know paraffin is highly flammable, so I'm just urging caution with whatever you're using. I have only a microwave here. Don't, don't melt anything <laughs> for a candle in the microwave. So what I am trying is I went to the thrift store and I got a little baby, I'm just seeing how hot it is, it's a little bit warm, a little baby crock pot. So we're gonna see if this gets hot enough to melt my wax. But, so it's off to the side. You can see I've kind of filled it up and I'll go back in and stir it periodically. What I did do was, because I wanted to use soy, my Michaels did not have that. I could do uh, paraffin, no problem, but soy um, was sadly lacking. So I bought a kit off Amazon. 
and I bought a five pound kit because I don't know how much wax I need to fill all these things. And if I like it, I may find other containers. So it happened to come with a nice little scoop, came with all of the wicks and the little um, sticky thing to stick your whip down. Um, and my big bag of soy little flaked chips, which is lovely rather than the paraffin always came in these big blocks um, because then this is gonna melt so much easier and quicker and I might stand a chance in my little crock pot. So always, always just be safe. Hot wax is really hot. So you wanna be careful um, as you're going through. So I've got my natural soy wax flakes. You can, and it says here, um, melt point is 48 degrees Celsius. So again, don't know what my little crock pot, it's just, it's either on or it's off. You plug it in and it's on or it's off. Um, not like my big one at home that has a high and a low setting and maybe I need to get a bigger, a little more oomphy one. We'll see how it goes. But what I am gonna do is get everything set up for this. Now you can add colorant. You could certainly color it with crayons, which is what I did with when I was a kid. I just want mine to be um, that creamy white inside mine, so I didn't. You could also add fragrances. I don't want mine scented. First of all, um, because I'm migraine sensitive and a lot of scents kind of trigger it. So, you know, I'm a non-perfume household and I don't tend to burn candles with scents and that sort of thing. Um, and then also, if I put these kinds of items for sale in my shop, I don't know what scents customers are going to like and enjoy. In which case, if I have five, six, seven candles made and they're all one scent and nobody likes it but me, because I would go vanilla, um, then, then I'm stuck with my five, six, seven candles. <laughs> so I'm doing no color, no scent. But you do you. Whatever you would like. So I am kind of working off of some assumptions and, and maybe as I'm talking to you, I'm thinking oh, noisy neighbors. So as I was talking to you, I was thinking, hmm, maybe it would have been smart to actually watch a video or two on candle making, which I didn't. So I'm kind of faking it. Um, and there's no instructions that come, came with the kit, but I'm assuming these little sticky dots are to stick on the bottom of my wick to adhere it to the base of my item. I would expect that if you were thinking to hold it in place with melted wax or hold it in place with maybe a glue from your glue gun, the heat of the wax when you pour it in may melt that and cause your wick to shift. Now, the one thing that I do expect, so that holds it in quite nicely, and it's gonna make it easier to remove if you want to. So I do have some big popsicle sticks that I am going to lay a little um, clothespin on top just to be able to hold my wick upright. They are pretty stiff right now, but again, I'm assuming that they're stiff because they're waxed, in which case when I pour the hot wax, it's gonna melt this wax and then they're gonna get droopy. So I want them to stand upright. So I'm just going to take all of my little containers, let's do this guy, and I'm going to stick my wick in. Now I do remember with paraffin, because we used to seal canning jars with paraffin when I was a kid too, um, when we did jams rather than doing the boiling method to, to can them, um, the paraffin would sink a little bit. So you'd end up with the sides, the paraffin is here at the side and the wick is here and it would dip. And you'd have to go and melt some more and add it to make it nice and level. I don't know what soy does. So um, we'll wait and see. If it does that, then it's not a problem. We'll just melt a little bit more wax and uh, add it on top to level it out. But we are just going to fix up all of our little containers this way, get them ready, and then, uh, ooh, these might, might go on 
on an angle. Okay, stick with me for this one and then I'll let you go while I do the other two. And um, I'm gonna come back at you once my wax is melted. But again, like I said, I am going to Cool. Um, okay, I'm, I'm liking the sticky dot method. And again, this came in this kit. I'll post this kit from Amazon, um, the link in the description, just in case um, you have trouble finding what you want as well. But we'll see. So I want these out a little bit away from my sticks. So this works great with the clothespins because I can extend that out a little bit. Ooh, that could be cute. Okay, you're a little crooked. Okay, so I just have two more to go. I'm gonna carry on with this and then um, come back at you when Oh, this is melting nicely. I can see that it's um, sinking lower than it was. And what I will do is um, just stir it up periodically like this. And when it gets lower, I'll add a few more chips so that um, I take advantage of melting the full container because it's not a huge container. And I will probably need to do uh, a number of batches anyway because it's not very big and I became overzealous with the number of candles I wanted to make. So I think that this whole container would just make my one double candle. So I'm just going to keep topping it up and here's the cool thing. This little kit came with a handy dandy little scooper for me to just be able to scoop more of my little, my little soy wax chips in there. Oh, I'm having so much fun already. I'm really excited about this one guys. Okay, so I'm gonna keep doing that. I'm gonna uh, wick up my last two little containers and um, I'll come back at you when, when we've got this all melted. But oh, this is so much fun. This is, gonna be, this is gonna be cool. Hang in there, guys. Okay, it is time. I have the pot of wax. It's pretty much melted. I think there's maybe about two or three little little blobs left I'll try and avoid out of this batch. I want to do my little egg-shaped guy first. See how that goes. Um, so what I do have is I just have a little metal measuring cup, quarter cup, that I'm just going to use to be able to pour in. Um, it just seemed easiest to me to do that and I'm just going to slowly add that into each of my respective little containers. So, I mean, how easy is this? Um, so once you've got this set up, it's just a case of waiting for it to melt and then scooping it into the containers that you're gonna use. And I can see already that I'm, I'm gonna be using almost this whole little crock pot. Okay, if you have a bigger crock pot that you wanna devote to this, but. I'm just really looking at, um, you know, using something in the shop and really once I've used it for this, I can't imagine many other things I'm gonna be using it for. I'll just come up with other things that require wax. <laughs> so what I am going to do is I will fill these, two up. I think I can get maybe enough out of the pot to fill this little, little, what have I got? Sugar, sugar bowl, my little sugar bowl. And then I will fill up my pot again and, you know, keep adding to it as it melts down until I get uh, the other three containers full and we'll let it cool fully. So that will be overnight. I will leave them to cool and then we'll take them apart <laughs> and um, 
you know, so first I, I want to see if they if they shrink at all and if we need to top them up, in which case then we'll do that. Um, and, and we'll kind of go from there. This one's just about done. So I had enough. Yeah, so that's it for this. I had enough to be able to do this fairly big wooden bowl and this little teacup. So I think that um, I'll fill this up again and let it go and that'll probably be enough to do my blue teacup and maybe my creamer and then I'll have to let it go again and that might be enough to fill this this big honkin' bowl, right? But I'm definitely gonna need the full container's worth to do that. But it really doesn't take all that long to be able to melt in here. Just stir it up a couple of times, add a few more to it as you have a little bit of space as it melts down. And really, the crock pot is working harder than I am at this craft, so. <laughs> Not a, not a huge deal. So I am going to come back at you once these have cooled overnight and we'll take a look at what they need and where we go from there. But, um, you know, with a little bit of caution, I think that the crock pot is the safest way to, way to go with melting any of your waxes, regardless of which wax you, you choose to use. Um, but again, I mean, it's doing the hard work. I, I'm just, scooping and scooping in and scooping out. That's it. I'm excited to see them tomorrow though. So I'll just carry on. Okay guys, I just got in here and I was checking my candles and I was so excited about how they looked that I had to come on here right away. I haven't even had my tea yet. I just got the water on to boil. I couldn't wait. So these look awesome. They, um, Look, look at how perfect that, that looks. So all that we have to do is just trim out that wick, right? And it's not, okay, now that bugs me that they're not even. All right, I am that anal, sorry. But look, 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 look at how cute that is. And look, I have some drips on the side and it comes off so easy it's so smooth this soy soy wax but look at that that is gorgeous this would cost like easily thirty dollars somewhere i paid thirty dollars for all that wax now for all of my candles i used about it, it said that this was five pounds i'd say that i easily used two and a half pounds for all of my candles but Let's, let's check them all out together here. Oh, I really like that little, that little egg guy. Look at him. So cute. All right, so I, I am, I am a bit of a, a nerd, but look at this little set, this little candle set. Look how cute this is. And it's got its little snuffer lid and then my little telefloor because look you know this is super cute and and you could have it as a teacup to drink out of but i, I drink out of huge big um ther <laughs> thermos mugs so what a, a little long a little long what a perfect way how cute is that just sitting sitting out on your table as your little as your little candle what a great way to reuse these pieces. So definitely all were thrift store or, you know, free finds. Um, with, the, with the wax and the candle kit, I just think these are super cute, so easy. The only thing that took me any time was melting my wax because I had this little crock pot, which is perfect for me in the shop because I was able to put my wax on and walk away. I would pass by and stir it every so often as I did other things, come back, pour a couple more candles, put some more wax on. Um, so not a pain for me and it's a lot less storage for something that is only gonna be used for craft, right? That, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm not using this at home. It's had wax in it, um, but it'll stay here. And so then I don't have to store a huge big one. And I picked it up at Value Village. So I thrifted it for $5.
No, it was $6, but 30% off, so under $5, which is perfect. It worked great once it heated up, it melted things really quickly, and this was such a super easy, easy, easy thing to make, and I think that they look awesome. I mean, you know, this is crate and barrel bowl, so, you know, from, from that standpoint, making like a double wick or now, now I want to look for a long one that I have multiple wicks in. Okay, I, I may have to make more because that was super fun. And um, I will put all of these for sale into the shop. So just a nice different little, little thing to have as kind of, um, you know, how, how cute is that as a little, as a little gift to give someone, right? Anyway. Let me know if you try this, you guys. I just had to pop on and, and check in right from the get-go because I was really excited. There was no dipping. There was no need to melt more and refill. They were all perfectly smooth and, and even. I had to avoid yesterday sticking my finger in, um, which would have left an imprint, so don't do that. Just let them harden. <laughs> they, they, they firm up nice and smooth, so they're already gonna be perfect without any interference from you. But let me know if you give it a try. I would love to see, see uh, some pics or some ideas from you of little containers to be able to use. I'm loving it. Anyway, see you in the next video, hopefully. And until then, take care.